Hey guys, would you like to make cool color changing sensory bottles like the ones we have here? Then check out this video and we'll show you how to do the experiment at home so you can do this yourself. It's Genevieve's Playhouse. <laughs> For this experiment, we're gonna need three water bottles and then we're gonna remove the labels from each of them. Aquafina work really well because the labels come off easily. Now that the labels are removed, we're going to pour out half the water in each of the bottles. Don't worry if it's not exact, just get it as close as you can. And then we're going to use regular food coloring that you can find in your grocer's baking aisle. We're going to use three different colors. Blue. Yellow and red. Don't worry about the green for this experiment. Now let's add a few drops of blue to our first water bottle. Now to add some yellow to the second bottle. And finally red for our third bottle. Wow, look at that! Don't our bottles look great? But as you can see, I've already got some food coloring on my fingers, so maybe it's best to let parents do the coloring part. Alright, now I'm going to use some wooden popsicle sticks to stir the coloring and make sure it's mixed in really well. You can also use a plastic straw for this. Alright, perfect! Now we're going to use two 14 ounce bottles of baby oil. The 20 ounce bottle isn't quite enough, so get two 14 ounce bottles. It doesn't matter what brand you get, but just make sure it's clear. Just go ahead and fill each bottle up all the way. Wow, check out what's happening here. Have you ever heard the phrase that oil and water don't mix? Well, here you go, here's proof. Oil and water don't mix. Now let's add some more baby oil to our second bottle. And our last, most important ingredient is this one here. You need to make sure you get a box that looks exactly like this one. It's called Wilton's Candy Colors. And on the back, it'll say that it's oil-based. That's very important for this experiment. Most Walmarts carry this in their party supply aisle or their arts and crafts aisle. But if you can't find it or don't have a Walmart near you, check our link in the description so you can purchase this from our Amazon affiliate. Now let's take our candy coloring and put the colors on the table should have four colors. We won't need the orange one, so let's set that aside. Now the red one is for the blue bottle, the yellow is for the red bottle, and the blue is for the yellow one. And now let's take our red color and mix it in with the blue bottle. Be very careful because this is dye and it can make a big mess. I'm going to use our popsicle stick to get a little on the end and mix it into the bottle. Get a little more. Just keep adding until your bottle is dark enough or to your liking. Now let's take our blue coloring and add it to the yellow bottle. Oops, I spilled a little. I'll need to clean that up before it makes a mess. And finally, we'll take our last color yellow and mix it with our red bottle. And now stir it to get the color mixed in. Now I hope you didn't throw the tops away because we need to put them back on the water bottles. And it might be a good idea to go ahead and glue the tops on so your youngsters don't make a mess. 
Wow, check it out, guys. We made our three color-changing sensory bottles. Now we just gotta shake them and find out what happens. First, let's check out our blue and yellow bottle. Alrighty, some of the color is seeping into the yellow. That might be because the blue coloring is a little bit heavier. But let's go ahead and shake the bottle and see what it does. Whoa, cool, it changed immediately. Now it's the color green, because blue and yellow mix to make the color green. And if we leave it here for a little while, the colors will separate again, and we'll be able to shake it for another color change. Now let's go ahead and try our yellow and red bottle. Let's see, do you know what color yellow and red make? Let's find out if you're right. Did you say orange? If so, you got it, ka -chow. And finally, let's give this blue and red one a shake and see what color it makes. Look at that, it made the color purple, because blue and red make purple. Look guys, after only a couple minutes, the bottles have separated back to their original colors. Let's mix them all up at the same time, and then we can watch them separate in fast speed. Wow, wasn't that cool guys? If you liked the experiment, be sure to give us a thumbs up in the comments and let us know how it worked if you tried it at home. Bye guys!